Today, we're going deep into the world of Berserk, the legendary anime from 1997 that's dark, twisted, and still influencing the world of anime and manga even today. Berserk was created by the genius mangaka Kentaro Miura, who put together a story that's like nothing else. It's got everything, intense battles, unforgettable characters, and themes that go to some seriously dark places. So, if you're up for an intense journey, stick around. But before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell so you don't miss any updates. Now, let's dive in. All right, so let's start with some basics. Berserk aired on TV way back in October 1997 and ran until April 1998, bringing us 25 episodes of pure, raw storytelling. For anyone who hasn't seen it yet, Berserk is split into two main arcs in this anime version, the Black Swordsman arc and the Golden Age arc. Both of these lay down the foundation for Guts' journey and give us a glimpse into this brutal world Miura created. The Black Swordsman arc, who is Guts? So, the anime kicks off with the Black Swordsman arc, where we meet our main guy, Guts. Guts isn't your typical hero. He's not out there saving people for the sake of justice or fame. He's got a mission, and it's pretty clear from the start that he's been through some stuff. Guts is a huge, muscular guy, with only one arm and one eye, and he carries around this gigantic sword that most people couldn't even lift. Right away, you get the feeling that Guts isn't just another warrior. He's someone with a past, someone who's seen and done things we can barely imagine. In the first scenes, Guts walks into a bar where some lowlifes are harassing a girl. Guts handles them like it's nothing, leaving no question that he's not someone you want to mess with. But it's not just random violence. He's after a local lord named Baron, who's more than just your average bad guy. When Guts finds him, he takes him down in one of the most brutal ways imaginable. And here's where we first see something called the Behalit, a demonic relic that plays a huge role in Berserk and tells us there's way more going on than just sword fights and revenge quests. After dealing with the Baron, Guts moves on, and we're left wondering, who is this guy? What drives him? And that's when the story throws us back to Guts' past, setting up one of the most famous parts of the series, the Golden Age Arc. The Golden Age Arc, from mercenary to friend. The Golden Age arc is where Berserk really starts to dive into Guts' life. We flash back to a much younger version of Guts, where we see him in his early days as a mercenary. He's basically been a warrior his entire life, and he's been alone for most of it too. No family, no friends, just battle after battle. And this part of the story explains how he became the hardened, relentless guy we met in the Black Swordsman arc. One of the first big moments in this arc is when Guts kills a knight named Bazuso during a tournament, proving his skills to everyone watching. This attracts the attention of a group called the Band of the Hawk, a ragtag bunch of warriors led by the charismatic Griffith. Now, Griffith is no ordinary leader. He's got this almost magical charm, and people are drawn to him. He's ambitious, ruthless, and, honestly, pretty mysterious. Guts and Griffith have this fated meeting where Griffith challenges Guts to a duel, and even though Guts fights with everything he's got, he loses. But instead of killing him, Griffith offers him a place in the Band of the Hawk. At first, Guts isn't thrilled about joining. He's used to being alone and relying on himself, so this whole team thing doesn't come naturally to him. But over time, he grows close to the members, especially Casca, the only female warrior in the group, and Griffith, who becomes his closest friend. The dynamic between Guts, Griffith, and Casca is super complex and is honestly one of the best parts of the anime. Rising through the ranks, Guts and Griffith's friendship. As Guts settles into his role in the Band of the Hawk, he quickly rises through the ranks. His skills in battle make him one of the group's top warriors, and before long, he becomes Griffith's right-hand man. The two of them have this unique friendship that's based on mutual respect, but also a bit of rivalry. Griffith has this big dream. He wants to rule his own kingdom. He's willing to do whatever it takes to make it happen, and Guts helps him achieve those victories. They're kind of unstoppable together. But then, things start getting complicated. During one battle, Guts and the Band of the Hawk encounter a terrifying warrior named Zod, and Zod is no ordinary soldier. He's a literal demon. Zod takes one look at Griffith's behalot, the weird, demonic necklace he carries, and warns Guts that Griffith's ambition 
will bring nothing but doom to those around him. This warning is one of the first real signs that Griffith might be hiding something dark, something that could put everyone in danger. The changing tides, Guts finds his own path. After years of fighting for Griffith's dream, Guts starts to wonder about his own path. He doesn't just want to be a tool for someone else's ambition, he wants to find his own purpose. So, after one final battle, Guts decides to leave the Band of the Hawk. But this doesn't sit well with Griffith. In fact, he's furious. Griffith challenges Guts to another duel, and this time, Guts wins. For the first time ever, Griffith experiences real loss, and it leaves him shattered. With Guts gone, Griffith makes a terrible choice. In a desperate move, he tries to force himself on Princess Charlotte, the daughter of the king, hoping to find some twisted way to deal with his sense of loss. But his plan backfires. He's caught, and the king has him tortured so brutally that he's reduced to a broken, barely recognizable version of himself. The Eclipse, Griffith's transformation. Guts moves on and starts training with an older swordsman named Godo, hoping to find some kind of peace. But soon, he hears that the Band of the Hawk is in trouble. Guts returns to his friends and finds that Casca is now the leader. Together, they launch a rescue mission to save Griffith, who's locked away in a place called the Tower of Rebirth. But when they find him, it's like Griffith is a ghost of his former self. He can't even walk or speak properly. Guts and Casca try to help him, but Griffith's despair overwhelms him, and he decides to activate the Behalit, triggering an event known as the Eclipse. The Eclipse is hands down one of the most brutal and horrifying scenes in anime history. Out of nowhere, Griffith, Guts, Casca, and the entire band of the Hawk are sucked into a strange, dark dimension. There, they meet a group of ancient demons called the God Hand, who offer Griffith a deal. If he sacrifices his friends, he can achieve his dream and become one of them. And Griffith doesn't hesitate. He accepts the offer, and one by one, Gut's friends are killed in the most horrific ways as sacrifices for Griffith's transformation. In an agonizing scene, Guts tries to fight back, but he's hopelessly outmatched. He loses an arm and an eye, barely escaping with his life. Gut's new path, the Black Swordsman. After the eclipse, Guts is left traumatized, scarred, and filled with a burning desire for revenge. He's now branded with a mark that attracts demons, meaning he's never truly safe. But this doesn't stop him. Instead, it pushes him forward. Guts takes up the name The Black Swordsman and sets out on a relentless journey to find Griffith and make him pay for what he did. This anime, unfortunately, ends right here, leaving fans on one of the biggest cliffhangers ever. It's only 25 episodes, but those episodes pack so much emotion, horror, and intensity that they've stayed with fans for years. Since then, Berserk has been adapted several times, but nothing really captures the raw intensity of the 1997 version. There's something about this original that feels uniquely gritty and emotional. So there you have it, Berserk, a dark and unforgettable anime that explores themes like friendship, betrayal, ambition, and revenge, all while delivering some of the most intense scenes in anime history. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the series, Berserk is a story that leaves a mark, just like the brand Guts Bears. If you're up for the challenge, give it a watch and see why it's considered a classic. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and ring the bell for more awesome content. Catch you in the next video. Peace.